poor helpless creatures now roam the earth in search of food, sustenance they'll never find. We had it all, more than we knew what to do with. Enough to nourish a few solar systems. The parasite was born within us. Not a boring old plague or epidemic, but a genocide inside our bodies. Our own selfishness and greed fleshed out, mutating into a ravenous cancer, given form and purpose to obliterate everything in its vicinity. obliterate everything much like its hosts and their hosts the planet itself the only difference being the disease would perish with us but our world will live on long after we're gone if we can call it a disease <sighs> few humans who survived this, uh, this apocalypse are not immune to the, 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 the pathology of the ego. They must battle it constantly on a moment-to-moment -moment basis at the cellular level or face the inevitable organs, skin, bones eaten away, eaten up devoured from within like a school of piranhas will devour naked flesh call it what you will it doesn't matter now does it fate karma comeuppance the result is the same the one species that believed or had the capacity to believe in divine justice is now on the brink of extinction. Self-fulfilling prophecy perhaps. The disease will, will get to the fibers if the zombies don't first <laughs> zombies <laughs> for, for lack of a better word for lack of a better word <laughs> and they will come for me eventually I know because you see the dying, the dying have, have always, have never, never, the dying have never wanted anyone else to live on after them. Misery has always loved company. Now, shuffling, always that infernal shuffling. Wish me luck, over and out.